So guys, I am back with some more Spider-Man, and I've actually guys got the, uh, a really cool suit that I just want to quickly show you guys. It's uh, the Stark suit, you know, from um, Spider-Man Homecoming. This is actually the Spider-Man Homecoming suit. It's actually pretty cool. It's really nice, and I really like it, guys. The differences between that one is a little bit, because that one took a little bit more red with um, obviously the spider web like kind of thing imprinted on it. Uh, the spider's a little bit smaller on that, and um, Obviously, the suit looks a bit different, as you can tell from the the classic suit to the um, the Stark suit, which is pretty cool. I might get that one later, but I'm not too keen on that one because it kind of looks a bit weird. I'm not too sure about that one, but I like that one. It's pretty cool. I like the new Spider-Man Homecoming suit. I like that. Plus, guys, um, I've also got Spider-Man's original uh, suit as well. So this is um, the homemade suit. So that is pretty cool. I like that one. That looks nice. But um, this is the one from Captain America Civil War and Spider-Man Homecoming, which is pretty cool. I like that suit. I really like it. It's really nice. Anyway, guys, let's continue with some more Spider-Man. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. At Lee's office. All right. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. <laughs> yes, Parker. But let's have a look, Peter. Let's go have a look. See if we can see if there's any information. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Thanks. I appreciate it. There's two conversations at once. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, like no one sees us do that. Huh. Whatever. Never seen that room before. All right, hold on. Whoa, what the? High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. What would Ben do? Poor Aunt May. Let's have a look around. See if we can find anything cool. The room I saw from the crawl space. Should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. Ooh, there's a key. A key. Wonder where the lock is. I wonder where the lock is, guys. Hmm. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. The shrine in the photo is missing its picture. Did you just say? Uh, what picture? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. 
can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Yeah, I know. What a nasty person. Okay, seems like we need to go over here. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Hmm. What on earth? That seems right. Okay, that seems right. Oh, I see. What do you see, Peter? Does that need to go over there? What? Oh, hold on a second then. Okay, so the black bit, uh, where are we? Okay, so it's definitely like that. That's sorted. Now, I think... That bit is here. Okay. Then, switch that all the way around. Like that? Yes! yes. Oh, hello. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. Hmm. Creepy. That is creepy. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Let's take that. Escape these trap. Where's your one? Peter. I bet they'll be like way behind the door or something. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that done. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. 
and an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they plan next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I wonder if he knows what Spider-Man. Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that. But I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oswald. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remember Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Well, guys, I hope you did enjoy uh, this part on Spider-Man. It was really fun. Thank you all the guys for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.